Hikra.com Reference 645WB A restrained rosewood writing box with inlaid accents and lines in brass. The design of the inlay is highly stylized flora suggesting neoclassical designs hinting at Parmet and on the top and Themium also. The box has unusual and elaborate layered secret compartments, a side drawer and inlaid countersunk brass carrying handles. It also converts into a reading stand. The reading stand was very useful in a time when light was either from a window or candle. A book could be arranged to maximize the available light. The section under the top flap is divided in three sections by tapering divisions. The division helps to conceal the fact that the wood underneath is in two sections. It is not glued in place, but can be removed, revealing that the bottom of the box has, in fact, a piece of wood that comes out. But that's not all. There is another secret compartment which can now be accessed by pressing on the side of the box. Hidden behind the sprung panel, there's a small drawer of dovetail construction. The spring, which helps to make the panel open is attached to the front and acts as a handle. I don't think I have ever seen this before. The box retains both a moulded glass pound spot and an inkwell. The inkwell has hobnail cut decoration to its shoulders. Both have beautiful embossed gilded tops. The essence of the palmette is a symmetrical group of spreading fronds that spread out from a single base, normally widening as they go out, before ending with a rounded or fairly blunt pointed tip, like a spear. There may be a central frond that is large. The sides are inlaid with brass lines and countersunk brass carrying handles of the skeletal form. The handles are secured to the box by steel screws, ground flush with the surface. This is an early design. From about 1820, many makers used brass screws and were less likely to rust. The skeletal handle form was also abandoned in favour of a fuller shape which would have made routing out the wood to accommodate it much simpler and faster. The juxtaposition of dark wood, such as rosewood, with bold brass inlay was popular in the early part of the 19th century. The wood and the bright brass were mutually enhancing. The Prince Regent Later, George IV commissioned such work for his royal palaces. The technique was perfected control of cutting and inlaying, requiring time and skill, and it was very expensive at the time. It is no wonder that such work was popular when excess was rife and style was given supreme social importance.